Today we are talking about Belle Dauphine and how her family reacted to finding out that she's creating an adult film. Hey everyone, what's up? My name's Ryder Bard. You can call me Kyle. If you haven't watched one of my videos before, I'm a commentary YouTuber and I like to think I cover interesting topics, but that's debatable, I think, because sometimes I put out a video and it doesn't do too well. Then when I put out a video that I think isn't interesting, it does better. So I've just given up. I'm just going to create videos now and if it does well, awesome. If it doesn't well, so be it. You've probably noticed there's once again a different background. I'm currently staying in an Airbnb. Currently looking out at a bay. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to kind of dox myself after the previous video, which was about doxing. But I might throw in a few clips or something just so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to be talking about a lovely person. Person that you might not even know about. Like the name is never trending on social media. It's just no one knows who this person is. So I don't even know why I'm doing the video. They're called Belle Delphine. Like no one knows who they are. That's sarcasm. So while I'm talking about Belle Delphine, I'm going to make myself a coffee because why not? I am tired as hell. And yeah, let's just start talking about the lovely Belle Delphine and what she has been up to recently. Yes, I'm drinking instant coffee. Please don't judge me. This is the only coffee here. And plus, instant coffee isn't too bad anyway, so I don't know why people give it a bad rep. Obviously, it's not better than a fucking $400 machine. It's instant coffee. It does its job. So please don't attack me in the comments. Okay, I'm back. Hope you didn't miss me too much. So it came out... A few weeks ago, might have been, actually, it was only a week and a half ago, Bill Dolphine went on Impulsive, which is basically Logan Paul's podcast, and she made an appearance and talked about her OnlyFans. If you don't know what OnlyFans is, it's basically a subscription service where it's almost like Patreon, but for adult services. So you subscribe and you pay a fee monthly. I think there's different packages, and you can also tip the creator and such. So yeah, best way to say it is Patreon, but for adult services. Although, I think you can also use OnlyFans for non-adult services as well. So basically, Belle Delphine on the podcast, talking about her upcoming adult movie that she's creating. Because previously, Belle Delphine has put out content, nudes and such, videos, but they've all been solo acts. This is her first adult video with another person. So, they talked about the upcoming adult film, and the topic of today's video is basically, Belle Delphine talks about her family finding out, about her being a adult content creator. First thing I want to know is how didn't her family know she was an adult content creator before this moment? I just want to know because obviously she's incredibly successful. Her face is all over social media. I want to know how they thought she was bringing in all this money. I don't know. She might have said she was an accountant. I don't know. I have a full-time job as an accountant. As an accountant. I just want to know how they didn't know beforehand that she was doing something to bring in a lot of money. Never considered asking her what this thing was, this occupation or business endeavor. So basically, Belle Delphine says that she doesn't have close relations with her father. Now, with her mother, when her mother found out, Belle Delphine said that her mum was not happy at all. She was very, very not pleased. And on the flip side, Belle Delphine's boyfriend, his family, as Belle Delphine said, is surprisingly chill about the situation. They're fine with it. Belle Delphine's family, or mother, isn't. Well, I've told my mum and she is not happy. And in the podcast, they talk about what's it like with her family. And they throw in a few jokes like, hey, grandma, look at this scene. Or, hey, grandma, look at this. Like, how do you broach the topic of your occupation. How does that work? You sit down, like at Thanksgiving, you're like, hey, grandma, uh, check out this uh, masturbation scene with the shotgun dildo. <laughs> or <laughs> quite sad where Belderfine says like her mom's not happy at all with it. This is a quite a difficult video to make. I just want to state quickly that I am very sex positive. I think you all knew that anyway. I'm all for people basically making a living as long as it's consensual. Because obviously we know in the industry, I've got to be careful with what words I say because YouTube scares me and they can take your video down and all those kind of things. But in the industry, obviously, there are people that are forced to create content when it's not consensual at all. If it's consensual and they're an adult, I'm all for it. If that's what you want to do. It just makes me sad in this situation where Bill Delphine, as a person, is incredibly smart. I've just got to say that. She's incredibly smart. Like, if you look at the whole Gamer Girl bathwater situation, 
Yes, it's meme worthy, people made jokes about it, but it was incredibly successful. Belle Delphine is incredibly smart. She went on the podcast, I think Cold Ones, and she talked about the whole social media business strategies that she does. And hearing her talk about it is insane. You wouldn't think that someone as young as Belle Delphine, and obviously that kind of chill, laid back personality that she gives off, would be this damn smart. Like, fuck, if I could be that smart, you can bet your ass I'd be doing something similar. Indulging in the insanity of what I'm doing. So I was kind of like, if I'm going to do it, I'm just going to live this weird life for a couple of days where I just take baths <laughs> every day. And that was the whole fun of it. I enjoyed that. Where did the inspiration come from to do that? I love selling things and I love like shipping things out and like cute packages and stuff. So that I was kind of thinking of something to sell. And I think what spurred me off was like, you know, the whole warm panties thing. But I was like, I've seen that before. Right. And then I remember thinking like, oh, what's something, you know, people always joke about like, oh, toenails in a jar or like my hair in a jar. And I can't grow toenails that quick and I'm not going to cut my hair. So I was kind of thinking on that wavelength and then bath water just came as an option. When Belle describes her partner's family's reaction, she laughs. I had a laugh because it's quite funny. She says that they were weirdly chillaxed about it. Like they were like, yeah, okay. And hey, could you pass a drink? It's just like a normal conversation. That's not a big deal. Um, My partner's side of his whole family, they all know and they're very like weirdly chill about it. They're all fine about it. They were like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So that's pretty cool. And I feel like more people should be like that now that there's all these new methods to make money from the internet. And if it's consensual, then who cares? They're literally a freelancer. They're doing all these business strategies, learning marketing and learning editing. There's a lot of things that go into that. It's the same with YouTube. I feel like a lot of people just watch the end result of YouTube. They'll just see the finished video and then think that there's no editing involved or any external process that happens. Like if people knew how difficult making a YouTube video is and everything that surrounds YouTube, a lot of people would have more respect for content creators because it's not just filming. You've got to come up with the idea. You've got to follow different um, topics that are trending. You've got to learn the algorithm. You've got to learn SEO. You've got to learn how to market yourself. So short form video content, posting it on social media. You've got to learn edit, which is quite difficult. You've got to learn business strategies. You've, there's a lot that goes in, that is involved, especially when it comes to influencer marketing that people don't realize. And I feel like it's the same with content creators on the adult side of things. It's the exact same. They're just making content for an adult audience. Uh, yeah, probably. And I mean, you know, I think it's easier for maybe, I mean, this is just stereotypically probably your son to go into this type, type of industry rather than a daughter. I don't know if that makes a difference. Oh yeah. This is something I also want to talk about. Basically in that little segment that I've shown, Belle Delphine talks about her mother being conservative by nature. And so if you don't know what conservative means, it means your viewpoints allude with a conservative kind. And Belle alluded that her mum would be less upset. Her reaction would be a bit more positive if she was a boy, which really sucks. First of all, that's completely sexist. But second of all, knowing that your mum would shift her opinions that quickly if you were a boy, I know that would really, really hurt me. So for her mum to be like that, that really sucks. Anyways, that's all. My name's Ryder Bard. You can call me Kyle. Hope you're well. Hope you're staying safe. Hope your new year is going pretty good because, you know, we all deserve that after last year. But yeah, see you in the next video. Love you all. Peace. Bye.